Okay, today is the day that we figure out where we're gonna be going here for the next two to three weeks, and maybe, just maybe, the next two to three months. So, uh, we'll be having some more news uh, for you from the FOMC meeting coming up just a couple hours from now at the time of this recording. Of course, the statement will be made today by Jerome Powell. Now, the feeling right now is that interest rates will not change, meaning there will be no interest rate hike. At least that is what is expected. And what I expect to see from crypto, if that meets expectations and we don't get an interest rate hike, is probably limited volatility. You know, when we take a look at the overall market, which we will hear in this video, it's been a little bit of movement, but not really much of anything. Bitcoin's relatively flat right now. We have seen Bitcoin sell off a little bit and then come back up in the same day. That is something I think we could see again here happen today. But uh, let me take you inside the overall market first, and then we're gonna talk about kind of what this means moving forward uh, here, depending on what comes out of this from Jerome Powell today. So right now we're taking a look at the market. I mean, 0.0 or 0.27% in the green. So basically flat. I mean, nothing brewing right now. Bitcoin's up 0.20%. It's actually down 2% in the last week. That's because we spiked up to 35K. Uh, but Bitcoin has been hovering right here, guys. 34,300, 34,500. It's waiting for something, right? And we always talk about this. Anytime we see consolidation this tight, a breakout or a breakdown is coming. We're going to get some kind of volatility eventually. The one thing I know about crypto is it might be boring for a little bit, but it's not boring for long, right? We're going to get some excitement and it could come today, depending on what Jerome Powell says. Now, Solana, unbelievable what Solana is doing right now. We talked about this yesterday. If Solana can climb up to that 40 cent range, we've got some room to run here all the way up to 47 bucks where I see some strong resistance. A lot of money coming into Solana right now. Not only has it rekindled what it lost amid the FTX drama last year, it has also regained some strength here, I think, from institutional investors and big money investors. So Solana continues to climb. That's a big story we'll continue to watch. Injective has been one. I actually put a video out. Not a lot of people watched it, but guys, I told you about this one uh, not too long ago when it was around 11 bucks. There's a lot of money flowing into this one. It's a big player in the AI sector. And then near protocol, it's been there and done that. It's been around a while. It's leading the charge right now in the top 100, up 16%. By the way, put a video out early this morning, ranking every top 100 crypto, guys. Go over to my channel and check it out. I'll show it to you right now. It is a 37 minute video. So if you don't have time to watch it, watch it later when you get off work or whatever. Um, I go through every single top 100 and tier them as well. That was my first video out this morning. Put a lot of time into that one. I think you're really going to love it. So check that video out when you get a chance. I think you're going to love that one. And I think it should definitely help you as you build your portfolio here for this bull cycle. Now, on to the feds. Barron's, one of the best outlets out there. Uh, they've got a live stream ticker going right now. There you, go, there you can see it. Two hours, nine minutes, 20 seconds away uh, right now from hearing Jerome Powell and it's not so much, I think, what he's going to do with the rates today because the expectation's pretty strong that there's going to be a pause. It's more about what Powell says and how the markets respond to what he says, right? What's the temperature in the room? Does he give us any insight on what's to come in December? Does he give us any insight on what's to come in 2024, Q1? Those are going to be big things I'll be watching today. And again, Federal Reserve expected to leave interest rates unchanged at its policy meeting today. We'll see if expectations are met. This would mark the second consecutive meeting where the central bank opted to skip another rate hike in this policy tightening cycle. Investors will be keenly focused on the committee's statement releasing at the meeting's conclusion and on Jay Powell's comments in the press conference. Chiefly, markets will seek clues to the Fed's rate hike decision in December, aha, at its last meeting of the year. So again, this could set the stage for crypto, for the overall markets, for the rest of the year. Now, with bond yields rising, it says, inflation edging lower and geopolitical risks increasing, the Fed is expected to leave things alone right now 
again later this afternoon. The Federal Open Market Committee is expected to hold the benchmark federal funds rate at a current range of around 5.25 to 5.5% at this two-day meeting. They met yesterday. The odds of a rate hike, if you're wondering, 2%. 2% chance, 98% chance that they're going to leave it alone. So that's what we'll be watching for. We'll see if Jay Powell releases anything else that's in his playbook that could impact the markets. Look out for more. Appreciate you guys as always. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.